Ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Thursday Night Thunder, 16 of your favorite monster trucks are ready to throw it down one more time as we kick off the second week of the May season. Donald Price Jr. in the son of a digger machine is the man to beat tonight. He currently holds that checkered flag and is your current points leader kicking off the May season. We're going to go ahead and jump back to last week and show you how he took the win. You see him lined up against Whiplash, heading down that straight stretch. Pulled a lead through no man's land and then on two wheels took home the checkered flag. As we get set to take a look at round one matchups here, UFO and Mohawk Warrior, King Crunch taking on Whiplash, and Gunslinger takes on Grave Digger the Legend. Kicking things off in round one's newcomer Colton Jeffrey Hotchkiss in the Digger's Diecast Mohawk Warrior. He draws up an old time veteran. That's James Valencourt, three time Thunder champion in the UFO Ford out of Cinemas in New Jersey. Mohawk Warrior new to the scene, but he's got his hands full. As we go green, Pope Trucks off to a good start. They're heading down the straight, up and over no man's land, and Mohawk Warrior looks like he got the win. He might put UFO on the trailer early down to a photo finish, and yes, he does. Mohawk Warrior edges out the UFO machine. Well, up next here in round one, we've got John Guts out of Spring, Texas in the King Crunch Chevrolet. He draws up against two-time Thunder champion. That's Megan Jagger and Whiplash, who made it to the finals last week and lost out to Son of a Digger. She's looking to put that truck in the winner's circle again, but she's got to go through King Crunch. As we go green now, they're heading down the straight whiplash with the lead, and crawl, my Crunch comes back and rolls the truck across the finish line down to an MTA replay. You see Whiplash pulls the lead on him down the straight stretch. They hit that first jump going over no man's land. She gets bobbled up right here on that second set of cars, and look at King Crunch go crunch right there across the finish line. The MTA track crew and officials rush down there. They're making sure he's okay. They are gonna flip the King Crunch Chevrolet back on all fours. Hopefully he didn't hurt that truck too bad. He will move on to round number two as long as they get the okay by MTA officials and make sure that truck is 100% to return back to the track as they roll him back over now. And there you see some of the damage done. A hard roll for King Crunch. Let's hope he can bring it back for round two. Well, up next, you've got the outlaw Joshua Wells in that mega-powered car care product built for Tough Gunslinger. He draws up against Shaggy, Matt Cheever, and Crave Digger the Legend. We're going to find out tonight if that gunslinger's cock locked and ready to rock, or the man talking all the smack going to take home the round one victory. As we go green, two fours down the straight stretch now, up and over no man's land, and Matt Cheever living up to the talk. Crave Digger the Legend moves on to round number two, gunslingers on the trailer. Up next, we've got Ryan Padgett in the Prowler Machine. Made it to semifinal action last week, but he's got a hard task at hand because he draws up against six-time Thunder champion. That's Rich Wagner in the Wild Hair Chevrolet. He ain't cutting no slack for anybody. Prowler stage, Wild Hair stage. As we go green, down the straight stretch now. Wild Hair pulling a lead. Oh, my, what a wheel stand. And Rich Wagner puts down the Chevrolet horsepower, picking up the win. Next up, we've got Austin Spence in the Grave Digger out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. He draws up against Lee Bailey in the Mopar Dodge out of Pontoon Beach, Illinois, better known as Barefoot. He turned it over in round one racing last week. He's looking to make up for it here tonight, but he's got to knock off the Grave Digger, who is getting dialed in as we go round one racing. Grave Digger and Barefoot now as we go green. Down the street, stretcher over no man's land, and Grave Digger edges out the Barefoot Dodge. He moves on to round number two. And next up, we've got Mitch Brown, who now pilots the Bigfoot Ford out of Pacific, Missouri, a former one-time Thunder champion. He's looking to take Bigfoot to its very first victory, but he's got to knock off the five-time Thunder champion, Bradley Graham's maximum destruction. Hasn't had much luck with that front engine design. He's looking to change things tonight. As we go green, it's Max D and Bigfoot up and out of the cars. Bigfoot's into the wall. Bradley Graham and maximum destruction. Move on to round number two. Bigfoot's on the trailer. And now as we close out round one racing, we've got the current checker flag holder. That's Donald Price Jr. It's son of a digger, but he draws up a former two-time Thunder champion. Chris Palook and Stinger Unleashed. They're going to throw it down here to close out round number one. This could be a huge race if Stinger can knock off the champion early as we go green down the straight. Son of a digger pulling a lead up and over the cars. And Donald Price moves on to the next round. He's still your checker flag holder as we get set now to go down to the pit area and check up on the King Crunch team. The crew is down there thrashing on the truck. They're hoping to get it back for round two action. They got the first race. The crew chief said it's mainly just fiberglass damage. They're looking to come back strong. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take you back to a race we didn't get to see in round one, which was Crustacean taking on Backdraft. You see them head off the line as we go green. Down the straight stretch now. They're even up and over the cars, and Crustacean upset the Backdraft machine. 
And I want to apologize because I just flat out forgot to put that race in the show. So my apologies. As we take a look at round two action, you see Colton Jeffrey Hotchkiss here. He draws up against the battered and bruised King Crunch Chevrolet at a Spring, Texas. John Guts hoping he didn't hurt that truck too bad in round one racing, but he's got the new kid on the block. That's Colton Jeffrey Hotchkiss and the Diggers Diecast Mohawk Warrior. As we go green now, they're down the straight. Mohawk with the lead, but Crunch coming back on him. Mohawk's over. What a race down there to the shutdown area. Unbelievable. Crunch moves on. Now, Mr. Shaggy, Matt Cheever, engraved to the legend. He draws up against Keith Cromwell, another member out of Diggers Diecast race team, and the Monster Lobster Crustacean, who defeated Backdraft in the race I forgot. As we go green now down the straight stretch, they're even. Up and over no man's land and hard road for the legend, but he's across the finish line. Oh, my, what a race. Going back to the MTA replay, you see him just about even through no man's land. Crust Station bobbles up, but a hard roll for Matt Cheever in the legend. Nonetheless, he gets it across the finish line. MTA track crew and officials down there bringing him back around. You see some damage done to the top of the truck. They're towing him off the track. Hopefully that thing is A-OK -okay for semifinals. Well, up next, we've got Austin Spence and the Grave Digger from the Throttle Loud Show on YouTube. He draws up against six-time Thunder Champion. Rich Wagner's Wild Hair Chevrolet. It's a battle of the bow tie as we go green. Down the straight stretch now, it's Gravedigger and Wild Hair up and over the cars. And Wild Hair, I believe, has just edged out the Gravedigger down to a photo finish. And let's take a look here. You see it by a nose. Wild Hair moves on. And now we get set to close out round two action. The newcomer on the track, Donald Price Jr., who took home the checkered flag last week. He draws up against five-time Thunder champion, Bradley Graham in maximum destruction. This one ought to be a barn burner. Son of a digger and Max D stage at the starting line. Who moves on to semis? As we go green, now they're even. Up and over no man's land. Hard roll for son of a digger. Maximum destruction moves on to the semifinal round. And I have to believe if son of a digger didn't turn it over, that would have been a photo finish in the shutdown area. Now you can see MTA track crew and officials down there turning him back over. It doesn't appear like he hurt the truck too bad. And I've got no doubt in my mind he's going to come back in week three of the May season with a vengeance, hoping to put Son of a Digger back in the winner circle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. We've got semi-final action coming up next. Want to get in on the action? You think you've got what it takes to climb to the top of the MTA mountain? Be sure to log on to Facebook.com and check out the group Monster Truck Attitude and watch for registration. Also, you can check us out on Instagram and check out every brand new truck before they hit the MTA circuit. You can sign up for events like Thursday Night Thunder every Thursday night at 7 p.m. on YouTube and other special events. Be sure to check out Monster Truck Attitude. We are back here with semi-final action. King Crunch draws up against Craven the Legend. Wild Hair takes on Max D. These guys are gonna throw it down. Who walks away with the checkered flag? John Guts in the King Crunch Chevrolet out of Spring, Texas, turned it over in round one racing. He draws up against Matt Cheever and Graves of the Legend. Turned it over in round two racing. Who moves on to the finals as we go green? Ford Chevrolet down the straight up and over the cars. And the Legend in trouble, he's upside down. And what was a photo finish? We're going down to an MTA replay. Look at these guys heading down that straight stretch. King Crunch pulled on him through no man's land, some sick air. And the legend decided he was going to come back and shut it down on its roof. Going across the finish line, he pulls out the win. MTA track crew and officials down there now with Shaggy. He's out of the truck. He's A-OK. -okay. They're going to roll him right side up. He couldn't hurt that truck any more than what he did in the last round. Unbelievable. What a race to the shutdown area. The legend is in the finals. King Crunch is on the trailer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set to close out semi-final action, a race that most people have wanted to see, 11 championships on Thunder between these two. Rich Wagner, a six-time Thunder champion in the Wild Hair Chevrolet. Bradley Graham, a five-time Thunder champion in Maximum Destruction. Who moves on to the finals as we go green down the straight stretch? They're even up and over the car, and what a race to the shutdown area. I do not know who got the win. We're going down to a photo finish. And there you see it, Wild Hair is in the finals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's final time. Grave Digger the Legend draws up against the Wild Hair Chevrolet. These trucks have ran bad fast all night. Matt Cheever upside down twice tonight. Can he keep it right side up? Or is Rich Wagner in the Wild Hair Chevrolet banging down the door to his seventh championship out here on the Thunder Circuit? Ladies and gentlemen, Wild Hair, Grave Digger the Legend. It's showtime here on Thunder. As we go green now, Ford and Chevrolet down the straight, they're up and over the cars, and what a photo finish in the shutdown area. 
That was such a close race, I'm not sure who got the win. We're going back to the replay. You see them both now heading down the straight. Wild Hair with a slight lead as they approach the first jump. Over No Man's Land, the legend coming back on him. And you see they get into each other before their finish line. And your winner is going to be the Wild Hair Machine. Congratulations to Rich Wagner and the Wild Hair Chevrolet on your seventh Thursday Night Thunder Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we take a look at the points coming out of week two of the May season. Son of a Digger and Wild Hair tied for the lead at 28, followed by Whiplash and Grave Digger the Legend at 20. In the latter half of the list, you've got 10 points by Barefoot, UFO, Backdraft, and Gunslinger. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight's episode of Thunder. Be sure to crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next week. Standing tall up in victory lane, I done brought the pain and now they're screaming my name, yeah. Everybody saw me rock the place, now there's flashbulbs are popping and mics in my face. In my face. Always giving the crowd what they need, now they're wearing my shirts front row to nosebleed. Yeah. Now the crowd forms, it's what it's all about, signing autographs until the lights out, yeah. It's about that, it's about that, it's been a long time. Uh -huh. It's about that.